So today I want to talk about identity and I really want to parse out the different ways in which we use that term identity. And on the one hand, identity can mean something that is based on the physical and the real. And on the other hand, identity can be something that is more of a mental concept that we hold about ourselves. So in terms of what is physical and real, this might be what we say is our um, uh, identity in terms of our identifying characteristics, you know, um, your height, uh, your weight, your eye color, your sex. These are characteristics whereby uh, the police or medical authority or um, traveling authorities can identify you. Uh, yes, you are who you say you are based on these physical, real characteristics, these identifying characteristics. Then there is the concept of identity, which is a concept that you hold about yourself uh, to have an affinity towards something, uh, to have... Um, uh, it can also be a process uh, whereby you model your own thoughts and feelings and actions that you attribute to an object that you have incorporated as a mental image. So someone might say, um, you know, I really identify with wolves because uh, wolves are wild and I'm wild or or um, I, I love having my wolf pack around me. So, so I'm holding this object in in my mind uh, that I have an emotional connection or attachment to. And, and in this sense, uh, identity is mental. And we can also do this in terms of um, uh, a religious theology that we relate to, you know, to call yourself a Christian or a pagan or a Muslim uh, is to have uh, an affinity or affiliation with the beliefs of, of this um of this ideology. Uh, you could also do it in terms of uh, astrology. You know, I identify as a Pisces or a Virgo or however you identify yourself. So these parts of identity are conceptual, they're mental, they're concepts. I hold uh, a, 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 a mental kind of emotional connection with this thing. Uh, it's not based in uh, something tangible or, or physical or real that we can point to about you. Uh, it's just something uh, ideological that you have a connection to. And uh, here is the thing. <laughs> I am not a woman uh, because I have an emotional affinity or mental connection to the concept of being a woman, okay? I don't objectify women. I'm not a woman because it's what I think about myself. I am a woman because it's the what. I, it's what I am physically experiencing. It's only an identity in the sense that it is an identifying characteristic about myself. And regardless of how I think about myself, the fact of the matter is I am always experiencing myself as a woman. I can never stop experiencing myself as a woman regardless of how I think about myself. I can uh, think of myself as, uh, as I said, as a Pisces, as as a as a pagan, as as all of these other things, I can say, oh, I really identify with wolves and uh, uh, how they are so nurturing with their young, uh, but. None of all of these things are, are mental ideas, concepts that I hold. The only one that is physical, uh, the physical characteristic of being a woman never changes. That never changes. I never stop experiencing that physical reality regardless of the concepts that 
that I hold about myself. So it's really important to note that in this ideology, in the ideology that we are seeing today, one, it's very objectifying, okay? Because if I say I identify uh, with wolves, I have, in a sense, objectified them. I have uh, turned them into a symbol of something that I want to believe about myself. Uh, so it's very objectifying. Uh, and to uh, for men to say that they identify with women, that's very objectifying. They have turned women into a symbology that they, they mentally think, okay? It's not something true and aligned with themselves. It's not a physical characteristic that they are experiencing. So I think it's really important for the rest of us uh, not to buy into this. That is why uh, I, I don't say that I identify as a woman. That That's not my identity. Um, you know, I identify as many other things. I identify uh, as an activist. I identify as a writer. I identify uh, as a lecturer. Uh, those are some of the uh, identities that, that I align with, that I hold about myself. Uh, but woman isn't one of my identities. Woman is just a matter of fact, physical experiencing that I am having. Now, this is kind of a longer video, but I hope that wraps up identity for you.